Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part 25, lesson 24 of the Illumined Faith, Mystical Interpretation of the Gospel of St. John by R. Swinburne Clymer. Lesson 24. Men who are bound by the desires of the flesh do not like to be taught the truth because it interferes with their pleasures. St. John, Chapter 7, 1 through 24. 1. After these things, Jesus walked to Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry because the Jews sought to kill him. 2. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. 3. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence, and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. 4. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. The disciples thought that, in doing a good work, man should do it openly and before all. They did not yet know that the greatest good can be done in secret. Let not thine left hand know what thy right doeth. 5. For neither did his brethren believe in him. It is seldom that brothers of the flesh believe in a man and recognize that he has great capabilities. For this reason, is it seldom in these days that a brother will employ his brother or have him do anything for him? 6. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. Those who do evil do not wish to be told of their evil ways. They do not wish to be interfered with. They do not wish that anyone should awaken them to their evil ways. For a guilty conscience is never an agreeable companion. It is for this reason that the true reformer always has a difficult path to travel. Men are wedded to their habits, whether in business, social, or educational fields, and they would rather have things go wrong than to have anyone come and change them, even though a change might be to the good of mankind generally. They think only of the flesh, only of themselves. Others have no hold upon them. They live for the self, and they will die in the self. 8. Go ye up unto this feast. I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. 9. When he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. 10. But when his brethren were gone up, then went he also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. 11. Then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, Where is he? 12. And there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said, He is a good man. Others said, Nay, but he deceiveth the people. No matter how innocent a man may be, if he is accused of a crime, half the people will believe him guilty. No matter how guilty a man may be of a crime, if he is acquitted, half the people will believe him innocent. No matter how great a work a man may be doing, half the people will condemn him, even though he may be helping them. Nevertheless, it pays to live a good life and to do a good work. There are other rewards than the reward of popularity. 13. Howbeit no man spake openly of him for the fear of the Jews. 14. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and talked. 15. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? 16. Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. 17. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. Jesus did not teach anything new. He only taught that which the masters in the East had taught him. And it was not even new with them. They had all been taught long before him, not a doctrine, but a system of living. 
through living according to the principles that had been taught them, they had become illuminated or soul conscious. And when man has reached soul consciousness, he has become the son of God and the father teaches him in the temple, not in the temple made with hands, but in the temple wherein dwells the living God. Truly had Jesus been taught by God, by him who had sent him. 18. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Those who have become illumined speak and teach the truth. They have no fear of man, because they know that the Father is with them. And who can be against them? But those who are not illuminated seek their own glory. They teach only those things which please men and which cause them to be glorified by men. 19. Did not Moses give you the law? And yet none of you keepeth the law. Why go ye about to kill me? Moses, through the illumination that he had won, received the divine laws from the Father and taught them to his people. But his people would not obey them. Had they obeyed, they would have become illuminated and therefore the sons of God. It would not then have been necessary for Jesus to teach as he did, because the Jews would have been like him. They had the laws, but they disregarded them and misinterpreted them. 20. The people answered and said, Thou hast a devil who goeth about to kill thee. When man has found his God and dares to teach the truth, he is accused of all manner of evil. He is insane. He is a fool and all manner of things. Nevertheless, freedom of soul and a clear conscience are their own reward. Let no man be discouraged. 21. Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work and ye all marvel. 22. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers, and ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. 23. If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are ye angry at me, because I have made a man ever wit whole on the Sabbath day? 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. According to thy works, so shall it be done unto thee. It is not the mere appearance of a thing that counts, but that which it really is. If a man does a good work, no matter what the time or what the day, it is good. If a man does evil, no matter what the day, even if it is not the Sabbath, it is still evil. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.